Hey everybody, I'm Scott Perryman, buyer's agent here with the Porter Group in Memphis. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at affordability as it pertains to interest rates and some appreciation as well. So this is what we did. We looked at Chandler reports for the average sales price in Collierville, 38017, in December of 2020 and December of 2021. Now, if you bought the average home in Carryville in December 2020, you would have paid $447,900. Over the course of 2021, we saw that average sales price in Carryville increase almost $100,000 to $541,829. So obviously $100,000 is more expensive, but let's also consider what it looked like to the borrower on a monthly perspective. So if you bought that average home in Carryville, December 2020, the average 30 year interest rate on a fixed rate mortgage was 2.67%. By December 2021, that number was 3.11%. So what does that do to you as a borrower? Well, if you'd have bought that average home at 447,000 and some change at 2.67% interest rate, put down 10%, then you would have been coming out of pocket for your down payment and closing costs at $55,130. Your monthly note would have been $2,291. Okay, if you would have waited a year because maybe you thought prices were too high, Lord knows I heard that in December of 2020. Well, the appreciation coupled with those interest rates, you bought at $541,829 and the interest rate is now 3.11%, you would have been coming out of pocket for the same 10% down payment for the average home, $65,417. That's an increase of $10,000. On a $100,000 purchase, duh, right? But here's the other thing, with the added interest rates, you would have been paying $2,761 a month. That's about a $500 increase. So if you waited a year, $100,000 increase on price, almost a half a percent increase on interest rate, it would have cost you $16,000. 10 out of pocket and almost $500 a month over the course of 12 months. That's what it looks like to wait. All right, so let's isolate those variables just a little bit further because currently we are in an increasing interest rate environment. So the same purchase price, $541,829, at December 2021, let's imagine that you waited until the third week of January to buy that house. Well, what happened in the second week of January is interest rates went from 3.11% to 3.56% by that Friday. So in the course of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, almost a half a percent increase in interest rate. That same house at 541,000 and some change is now gonna cost you $2,882 per month. Now that's only about $120 more per month, which is $1,400 a year. So think about what that means in terms of your purchase power. When we don't even consider the appreciating market in terms of sales price and how that affects you monthly. Now, let's take a look at that from the seller's perspective. So on the seller's side, this thought occurred to me the other day. You're probably not gonna feel that because you didn't try to sell your house in December uh, and then try again in January, right? So you're not gonna see that monthly effect quite as much. But consider this, as rates rise, the number of people that are interested in your home is gonna decrease. The number of people who can afford the average home at 2.67% is very different than the number of people that can afford that home at 3.56%, okay? And so that's gonna decrease the competition. And when that happens, we see a lower rate of appreciation. So think about that as well in terms of the bidding wars that you're hearing so much about. People who are gonna be hit in the pocket a lot more when they raise that purchase price $10,000 are probably gonna calm down that over asking that you keep hearing about. 
Never mind the fact that there are fewer buyers in the pool and so on. And here's the other thing. Most sellers, you're probably going to go buy something, right? And so you're going to feel it on the purchase side too, from a monthly perspective. So that's some food for thought on how appreciation and interest rates can affect your purchasing power. Alexis Hines at Patriot Bank was kind enough to put these real world loan estimates together based on these interest rates. Uh, and so I would, I would love it if you would reach out to her to investigate your purchasing power and really start to get a sense of how your dollar spends in our current real estate market. We'll see you around.